to the palace of the Belgian Academy come the representatives of the nations that 15 years ago signed the Nine Power Treaty pledging respect for the territorial rights of China. Among the first to arrive is Britain's Anthony Eden, and then in turn come French Foreign Minister Yvonne Delbos, and perhaps most significant, America's roving ambassador, Mr. Norman Davis, guarding the secret of whether America will throw her weight in the scale. President of the conference is Belgium's Monsieur Spark, but the center of most interest is the representative of stricken China, Mr. Wellington Koo. And from Russia, which has been specially invited, Monsieur Litvinov. And Mr. Wellington Koo puts China's point of view. We desire peace, but we know we cannot obtain it in the presence of Japanese aggression. So long as that aggression persists, so long we are determined to continue our resistance. It is not a peace at any price that will render justice to China or do credit to civilization. It is only by accepting a peace based upon the principles of Article 1 of the Nine Power Treaty of Washington that China, by her tremendous sacrifices during the past few months, will be contributing to the course of law and order in the relations between nations.